spill off you have to pay you like 250000 No, 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 no. no. It's simple, celebrities can be problematic, especially when they have a spotlight on them at all times and a platform that reaches the entire world. I'm your host, Spitz, when Joss Fadar. Today I have a part two list of celebrities who are problematic. Kicking off the countdown at number 10 is Sharon Osbourne. The talk show host did a recent interview with CBS where she shared her thoughts on the lawsuit between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. She didn't hold anything back when she spoke on it and compared their relationship to the dynamic she once had with her own husband, Ozzy Osbourne. She said, I don't know what they were using, but I know they were both drinking and it's a volatile relationship. I had a relationship like that with my husband at one time. I would give him what he gave me. Sharon has been open about her relationship in the past and how they both apparently got physical with each other. She even admitted that during one physical altercation, he told her that she was going to die and started to violently choke her. But she stayed with him and worked on the marriage. People were furious that she got involved in Amber and Johnny's lawsuit and that she's comparing their experience to hers and they don't think that that is right. Not to mention, most people would encourage others to leave a toxic and abusive relationship. Moving on to number nine, we have Megan Fox. Her relationship with Brian Austin Green has made news headlines on a few occasions. Earlier this year, they called it quits after being together for 10 years and sharing three children together. Fans were shocked when she was seen with Machine Gun Kelly just a few days after the split announcement, who then confirmed that their relationship was real not long after that. But Megan and Brian's civil split has been taking a turn for the worse lately, and people are pointing the finger at Megan. A feud between them started after he posted some photos on Instagram which included their son in one of the Halloween pictures. Megan publicly wrote a lengthy comment on the photo asking why he has to post photos of their kids and said that he is using them on social media to make it look like he is a better parent. She said, you're so intoxicated with feeding the pervasive narrative that I am an absent mother. You have them half of the time. Brian deleted the photos but people quickly jumped to defend him saying that she could have handled all of that privately. All right, guys, before I continue with the list, make sure you leave a like on this video because it really helps us out. Sliding into number eight is Jaden Smith. He was just one of the celebrities who showed up to Kendall Jenner's Halloween party this year, but his costume stood out more than the rest, and not for any good reasons. Pictures from the party surfaced online and showed him wearing a black coat with an oxygen mask. He received a ton of backlash online, but then he cleared it up and posted a photo of John David Washington from the movie Tenet, where he wears a black coat and an oxygen mask. Turns out that is who Jaden was dressing up as. But some people still did not believe him and said that wearing an oxygen mask during a time like this is inhumane. That is the word they used. Some people were firm on the fact that he could have picked any other costume and that using an oxygen mask as a costume in 2020 is very insensitive. Personally, I didn't see anything wrong with the costume. When I saw the picture, I did not see a COVID-19 patient, but what do you guys think? Cruising to number seven is Zoe Laverne. The 19 year old TikTok star caused some serious controversy after video footage showed her kissing a 13 year old boy. This relationship came to light after someone hacked her phone and leaked conversations between her and the minor, and also different videos which showed them kissing and inappropriately dancing on each other. And by that, I mean she was twerking on him. Zoe explained herself and said that they were friends who grew feelings for each other and admitted that it was wrong, despite him giving consent and being equally as involved. Articles started surfacing saying that she was arrested and detained from her home. No one knew if the articles were true because she took a break from social media, but then she made a return not long after and started making jokes about everything. She posted a video on TikTok of her dancing and captioned it, me coming back to TikTok after I got canceled for the 100th time. People were not impressed and said that this isn't about being canceled, but it's about the fact that she actually committed a very serious crime. Cruising to number six is Harry Jowsey. He skyrocketed into fame this year after starring on the Netflix series Too Hot to Handle. His relationship with Francesca Farrago was the talk of the town for a while, but when they split up, she exposed him for cheating. She posted a YouTube video where she cried to her fans and explained what went down in the relationship, admitting that the breakup was all on him and that she had proof that he cheated. So his reputation in Hollywood already took a punch after that, but in more recent times, his newer girlfriend, Julia Rose, revealed that he might be dating people for the wrong reasons. 
for fame, basically. Julia started dating him but quickly ended things after seeing what she called red flags. She said, It was almost a flex type of thing, almost like he was flexing a new Rolex. I kind of said I felt like he was dating me for the wrong reasons. But Harry was actually the one bashing her name online, saying that she was cheating on him with her ex Jake Paul. So the whole thing seems a bit chaotic and a little bit immature, if you ask me. Halfway through at number five is Tati Westbrook. The beauty YouTuber and owner of Halo Beauty has been in the middle of controversy on more than one occasion. But things got really bad recently after her business partner sued her. Tati and her husband are being sued by their business partner, Clark Swanson, for Halo Beauty. Clark alleges fraud, negligence, and breach of contract. He has been the third partner in the company since 2018 and claims that he initially owned 50% of the company, but shortly before they launched, Tati came to him asking for a greater share. According to Clark, the deal was that he would give 33 and a third to both Tati and her husband, giving them the majority of control and leaving him with one third of the company. In exchange for that, Tati told him she wanted to expand the brand into skincare, cosmetics, and other products, but that did not happen. She did launch some beauty products, some eyeshadow palettes and beauty blenders, but put them under the name Tati Beauty, which was a breach in their agreement. A lot of people have mixed emotions on if she's in the wrong or not, so I would like to know what you guys think. I mean, if it was in the contract that it has to be under Halo Beauty, Obviously she's wrong, but like she could start a second company, could she not? In spot number four is Noah Beck. He is one of the biggest stars on TikTok right now, but he is facing massive backlash after charging his fans to duet him in a video. If you aren't on TikTok, a duet means that you can duet someone's video and be side to side with their video as if you are doing a collaboration with them. Normally, this is completely free and anyone can duet anyone's videos, including celebrities. But for some reason, Noah started charging his fans a whopping $10,000 per duet. Fans were outraged and could not believe that he would charge for something as petty as this. And let's be real, he does not need the money. Noah did apologize while speaking to some paparazzi a few days ago. He said he feels guilty for charging such a high amount and claimed that it was actually a brand deal. He also admitted that he doesn't think anyone should be charging $10,000 for a duet. But he also wouldn't give up who the brand deal was, so it's hard to say if it's true or not, or if this is just like an excuse. In our third spot is Emma Chamberlain. A lot of celebrities use their social media platforms to encourage people to vote during the election between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. But Emma chose to stay silent on the matter and shared how she just spent her days instead. Fans began to call her out asking why she was seemingly ignoring the election, but she never made comment on it. What was even more strange was that she deleted her Twitter account right after it was announced that Joe Biden had won. People thought it was too big of a coincidence and not long after, screenshots surfaced showing the voting database and Emma is a Republican. People began attacking her online, calling her a Trump supporter, while others tried to point out that it could be a different Emma Chamberlain or the screenshots could be fake from that database. She ended up posting on Instagram to try and clear up the rumors, but instead she just left her fans more confused. She told her fans to just celebrate the day and come together, but never denied or confirmed if she was a Republican voter. I'ma keep my mouth shut on anything political. <laughs> Taking over our number two spot is Kendall Jenner. The Kardashian slash Jenner sisters are making a lot of headlines during the COVID-19 pandemic for doing things that other people in the world are prohibited to do. Kendall decided to throw herself a birthday party despite the COVID-19 numbers rising drastically in the US. Photos and videos surfaced online that showed her partying with friends, family, and even some other celebrities. None of her guests were wearing masks, which made people even more frustrated. But what people hated the most was that she had signs at her party that asked her guests not to post any photos or videos on social media, clearly trying to hide the fact that she had a party. She was facing a ton of backlash for her decision, but she never commented on it or apologized for it. Instead, her mom, Kris Jenner, came forward and said that everyone was tested for COVID-19 before going into the party and that they made sure it was a safe environment. Making his way into number one is Jeffree Star. The beauty guru just launched a new eyeshadow palette called Blood 
money and he was not messing around when it came to the big reveal. He's always been known for going all out when it comes to his makeup products. The Blood Money palette is all green toned, so he filmed a crazy video to go with the theme. The promo YouTube video was him posing in front of his $14.6 million mansion with a 10 foot alligator and tons of money flying around of course. So fans were excited for the big reveal, but when they finally saw the reveal video they were disappointed because they didn't feel it matched all the promoting that he did for it. During the video there were bits where he would speak to the camera about the product and do swatches of the makeup. Fans started commenting saying he had no energy and the video came across very dull. He ended up admitting to his fans that he was having a bad day when he filmed it, but fans weren't very forgiving. They said his whole reveal seemed like an infomercial on TV and that it came across like he was just trying to sell his products. Alright guys, that is our part 2 list. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'm going to end this video with some comments from celebrities who treated their assistants horribly. Renee Crockett says, how did Amber Turd not make it? Uh, well, in all honesty, I didn't know Amber Heard had an assistant. So, Thomas Len Frankie says, do assistants get assistants? <laughs> that is a very good question because I feel like an assistant would need an assistant of their own. Sam says, don't leave yet, Jocelyn. We need you for a bit longer after the multi leaving recently. I don't know why people are <laughs> saying that I'm leaving, but I'm not. I don't know where this came from. I'm not leaving. Shadow Spectrum says, I'll be JLo's assistant anytime. Me and you both. All right, guys, that's all I got. I'm getting out of here. Subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss another video. I was your host, Joss. I'll see you next time.